Neville Power was once a trusted COVID advisor. I'm going to hand you over to Nev. Now he's a convicted COVID breacher. Would you like to apologise? Are you feeling lucky you're not going to jail today? In October last year, he and his son flew in a helicopter from Queensland to WA. They didn't have the necessary G2G pass and on their arrival didn't make any attempt to quarantine for the required 14 days, with Neville Power even attending a high-profile charity ball. They were eventually charged and pleaded guilty, and while they faced the possibility of a jail term of up to 12 months, they are instead given an eight-month suspended sentence. The Deputy Chief Magistrate Elizabeth Woods described the breaches as blatant, saying this was not a momentary aberration. In my view, it was a disrespectful and foolish choice. Ms Woods said both men, particularly Neville Power, because of his former role as a government advisor, would have been well aware of their obligations, telling them they'd shown a significant lack of judgment and both had sought to rationalise conduct they knew was unlawful. Ms Woods distinguished the Power's offences from other COVID breaches who'd been jailed, such as the two Melbourne men who flew to Perth for last year's grand final. She said in this case there was no blatant dishonesty involved and they'd not travelled from a COVID hotspot. What's next? What's in your career? Yeah. Since admitting the breaches, Neville Power has resigned from various positions, stepping down as chairman of Perth Airport and the Royal Flying Doctor Service. Joanna Menard, ABC News.